Hi Mamas, I'm Isabella Barilla and I'm here to talk to you about the use of electronic cigarettes and any tobacco products in middle school and high school students. So e-cigarettes are battery operated device inhaled that is inhaled air aerosol and there's chemicals in it and flavors and the puff activates the heating device and the vapor and then it vaporizes the liquid, which is how you smoke it. And then I researched a study, a cross-sectional study done from 2011 and 2018 from the CDC about national use, tobacco use. And from 2017 to 2018, this has increased 78% where national youth have started using e-cigarettes. And people are starting to smoke at a young age, like middle school and high school, which they have easy access to it and there's a lot of attractive advertisements that on social media it's making it look cool for kids to start smoking at such a young age and at that time in their development they are adolescents and they are highly influenced by their peers and they try to fit in as much as possible because they want to be friends with everyone and the various flavors make it very appealing and a lot of people think it's safer than cigarettes, which actually it's not. And there's a lot of unknown health effects about cigarettes, e-cigarettes, because they're just they just came out like recently over the past few few years, and it's starting to cause addiction. And it's that the nicotine that's causing addiction can harm the developing brain, and such a young age starting, it could really affect them. And they don't realize because not a lot of them understand nicotine and how it could cause addiction. They just think it's cool because a lot of their friends are doing it. And the CDC states that in 2018, one in five high school kids use e-cigarettes. And one in 20 middle schooler kids use e-cigarettes. So that's huge because one in five, that's a lot for high schoolers. And then if you think about that, senior year of high school, you're smoking e-cigarettes and you're already addicted, and then you go to college and you continue to do e-cigarettes, and then that could eventually lead to other th other drugs, and then that could just ha be very harmful, and then they could be addicted for the rest of their life, not realizing, just because they wanted to fit in or look cool. And then I think everyone should be concerned because this is a huge topic and a lot of people are using this and not realizing the harmful effects and especially college students they should be very concerned because they're this is like crucial time for them and if they start becoming addicted it could ruin a lot of their brain chemistry and they could be addicted for life and then a lot of people become addictive because the nicotine stimulates the adrenal glands, which then releases epinephrine, and that increases pressure, blood pressure, breathing, and heart rate, and that becomes, and it activates the brain rewards to circuit, which then increases levels of the chemical messenger, and it's called dopamine, which is a pleasurable reward. So people love the feeling of it, and then they they want to continue to do it, and then. I think a lot of people, like, what they could do to prevent this is understand the consequences and how dangerous the electronic cigarettes are and how it could lead to addiction. If a lot of people understand that, then maybe they wouldn't do it as much or they wouldn't have even picked it up because addiction is a huge thing nowadays. And then a lot of minors, like, the action that they took for this is they made it that minors can no longer buy the e-cigarettes in stores or online and I feel like that doesn't um, change how they can get it because they still can get it from their friends that are old enough to get it but I feel like the action that really needs to take place is that education for drugs should start in middle school and they should understand how harmful nicotine is because a lot of kids don't even know what they're putting in their body. They just think, oh, it's a flavor, it's my favorite. Like, they don't understand that the nicotine in there is a huge chemical. And then if they understand the effects, then maybe they won't do it. And then another thing is, we don't actually know the long-term effects yet because this is so new that 
in a couple years, maybe we'll start realizing, like, what e-cigarettes can do in the vaporizing. And then this can lead to um, addiction, which I already talked about. And it can make it very hard for people to get off of it. So then they continue, they could continue this for the rest of their life. And then when they try to get off it, it could be very difficult. And then a lot of kids don't think about this because they don't think about addiction because they just want to fit in. And that's all I have to say about e-cigarettes. And my th final thing is just I think a lot of people should understand the consequences and how harmful these effects can be on the human body. Thank you.